You have remarkably little here on early to winter history. All these gifts to the Inquisition, and the best they can do is the Malefica Imperio, trite propaganda. But if you want 20 volumes on whether Divine Galatea took a shit on Sunday, this is evidently the place to find it. If I knew what you were looking for, I could help you. Because you're a mage? Considering education standards in the South, that's hardly a recommendation. Ah, <sighs> I apologize. That was unworthy. Did I see something by Genitivi here? I could have sworn. What is this about, Dorian? When everyone returned, they told us about your tumble into the Abyssal Rift. You went into the Fade. Physically went in. Are you... all right? I learned a surprising amount. What happened to the Temple of Sacred Ashes, for one? Regained your memories. That's good, then. I think so. You do realize this feat hasn't been performed in over a thousand years. Corypheus and his contemporaries entered the Fade and began the Blights. In comparison. That's not exactly comforting, Dorian. Nor should it be. If you can walk in the Fade, others will try to follow. Who knows what secrets Corypheus has revealed? Not all of them will be as lucky as you. What they could unleash. My advice? Keep this quiet. Let them speculate. Too many will see this as a challenge. You don't number among them? It's... tempting. But I am no fool. There are enough idiots in the world who think if they just use enough blood magic, their problems will vanish. It's exactly the sort of thing I want to stop back home. This... this I don't need. What I do need is a copy of the Liberalum. I'll wager I can find Corypheus' real name. If I can prove he was a grasping ankle biter with no family to speak of, the luster would come right off. Wish me luck. Inquisitor. I... I have been thinking. You remember everything now, yes? The explosion at Haven? The fade? Escaping the breach. In your report, you said Justinia was with you. But only you emerged in the end. Why? Why were you the only survivor? She knew it was either her or me. And she wanted me to live. Of course. Of course she did. That's just like her. Her message to me. I failed you, too. I'm not sure I understand what that means. Did you say anything else? Anything at all? Please, if you remember. I'm sorry, Liliana. That was it. There are no answers in the fate. Only illusions. A warped mirror. Justinia has never failed me. I was her left hand. Now she's dead. I failed her. Another of the lingering pains of Adamant, your worship. Sir Ruth is a senior warden of the Order. She was one of the many who slit the throat of another to bind a demon. She does not contest this. In fact, she surrendered to us. She requests no mercy. She wants the public justice of the Headman's Axe. You're very serious about this. Is more death the answer? There is no excuse for my actions. I murdered another of the Order. That blood marks me more than the Blight ever could. Accepting their actions while thralls of Corypheus, many treaties allow wardens any extreme if it opposes the Blight. I can't do it. I can't use the greater good to justify my crimes, as if it would create a future I could be a part of. It is wrong that this broke me. I've done worse with full sanction. I can do nothing except be an example of the cost. We doubt when we're safe, when blight is not at our throat. I can't judge a warden, Sir Ruth. No one has that right. You have more faith in the Order than we ourselves have.
Want a drink? I've a hankering for company. When I was a boy, there were these urchins who roamed the streets near my father's house. One day, they found a dog. A wretched little thing. It came to them for food. I caught it, tied a rope around its neck, and strung it up. Do you know what I did? Not the fireside tale I was expecting, Blackwall. Just listen. I did nothing. Not a damn thing. It was crying. I saw the kicking legs, the neck straining and twisting. And I turned around, went inside, and closed the door. I could have told my father, or alerted someone. I didn't. I just pretended it wasn't happening. You said you were just a boy. I was old enough to know the dog was suffering and that it was wrong. I may as well have tied the noose myself. We could make the world better. It's just easier to shut our eyes. Nothing worth doing is easy. <laughs> Look at you. You would have done the right thing. We're lucky there are people like you in the world. There's always some dog out there. Some fucking mongrel that doesn't know how to stay away. The spy master has confirmed it. Blackwall is gone. Go on. Liliana knows where he is, doesn't she? She knows everything. She doesn't know everything, yet. Sister Liliana had us search the warden's quarters. Not much to find, except this. It was missing from last week's reports. I don't know what Blackwall's interest in this particular matter is, but it could be a good place to start. Cyril Mornay, for your crimes against the Empire of Orlais. For the murders of General Vincent Callier, Lady Lorette Callier, their four children, and their retainers, you are sentenced to be hanged from the neck until dead. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Very well. Does Blackwell want to recruit this man? Look at all these people. I thought we were more civilized than this. They're going to kill him. Proceed. Stop! A Grey Warden. This man is innocent of the crimes laid before him. Orders were given and he followed them like any good soldier. He should not die for that mistake. Then find me the man who gave the order. Blackwall! No, I am not Blackwall. I never was Blackwall. Warden Blackwall is dead, and has been for years. I assumed his name to hide like a coward from who I really am. You. After all this time. It's over. I'm done hiding. I gave the order. The crime is mine. I am Tom Rainier. It 
Can you believe it? Tom Rainier himself. You must know something about Rainier. I know what everyone knows. He'll hang for the massacre of a noble and his family. Where did they take the prisoner? In the jail of the marketplace. If you've goodbyes to say, say them now. It's a damned mess, but believe you me, it'll be sorted out quick. Lots of people can't wait to see that man swing. I didn't take Blackwall's life. I traded his death. He wanted me for the Wardens, but there was an ambush. Darkspawn. He was killed. I took his name to stop the world from losing a good man. But a good man, the man he was, wouldn't have let another die in his place. Was the bailiff telling the truth? Did you really do those things? Yes, I did. It's all true. It's time we all took a good look at who I really am. Don't you understand? I gave the order to kill Lord Callier, his entourage, and I lied to my men about what they were doing. When it came to light, I ran. Those men, my men, paid for my treason while I was pretending to be a better man. This is what I am. A murderer, a traitor, a monster. Would a monster have given himself up? Somewhere along the line, you stopped pretending. Yes. I need to know the details of what you did, who you killed, why. I betrayed the Empire and assassinated a general, all for gold. The man was General Vincent Callier. My employer was a Chevalier, Robert Chapuis. Sir Robert believed that Grand Duke Gaspard was the rightful ruler of Orlais and would eventually take the throne. He thought that by eliminating one of Céline's loyal supporters, he might endear himself to the true Emperor. I can't say if Robert's plan would have worked. I didn't care. There was good coin offered. And I took it. By the time Sir Robert's involvement was uncovered, I was long gone. Of course, the Grand Duke disavowed any knowledge of the act and publicly condemned it. Robert killed himself. Poison in his wine. Another victim of the great game. You got your men to help you. What did you tell them? They didn't know who they were attacking. I told them it was an important mission. They trusted me without question. Just as your men trust you. Our men follow me because they believe our cause is righteous. They believe it because that's what you tell them. My reports say that Callier was with his family. You had them all slaughtered. I didn't know Callier would be traveling with his family. I assumed only soldiers, armed guards. My men have been told to eliminate everyone. They'd seen war. They thought they were defending their country. No one likes to think about that. It's names that carry power in this world. Bloodlines. Heirs. No matter how leaders like Selene or Gaspard pretend the game is played, that's how real war is waged. But you weren't at war. Not really. I've been on enough battlefields to know the same crime at the right time would have earned a medal. But that's what I did. And why I deserve to be here. Who were you before this mess? I was a captain in the Orlesian army. Well regarded, respected. But it wasn't enough. One mistake. One mistake and everything I worked for fell apart. That's all for now. I have Liliana's report on Tom Rainier. Give me the overview. Looks like our friend was once a respected captain in the Imperial Orlesian army. Before the Civil War, he was turned. 
persuaded to assassinate one of Selene's biggest supporters. He led a group of fiercely loyal men on this mission and told them nothing of it. His men took the fall for him. A few lucky ones, like Mornay, managed to escape. Let me guess. Our spymaster had this lying around somewhere, didn't she? It would have been difficult for anyone to connect Blackwall to Rainier. Even Liliana has something of a blind spot when it comes to wardens. <sighs> what do we do now? Blackwall... Rainier has accepted his fate, but you don't have to. We have resources. If he's released to us, you may pass judgment on him yourself. If it were up to you, what would happen? What he did to the men under his command was unacceptable. He betrayed their trust, betrayed ours. I despise him for it. And yet he fought as a warden, joined the Inquisition, gave his blood for our cause. And the moment he shakes off his past, he turns around and owns up to it. Why? Some part of you is impressed by what he did, isn't it? Saving Mornay the way he did took courage, I'll give him that. But I can't tell you what to do. I need to think about it. Do what you must, but come to a decision soon. This will not wait forever. For judgment this day, Inquisitor, I must present Captain Tom Rainier, formerly known to us as Warden Blackwall. His crimes... Well, you are aware of his crimes. It was no small expense to bring him here, but the decision of what to do with him is now yours. I didn't think this would be easy, but it's harder than I thought. Another thing to regret. What did you have to do to release me? Josephine called in a few favors. There are enough people out there who owe the Inquisition. And what happens to the reputation the Ambassador has so carefully cultivated? The world will learn how you've used your influence. They'll know the Inquisition is corrupt. Once the world is back to normal, no one will even remember this. I'll remember. I accepted my punishment. I was ready for all this to end. Why would you stop it? What becomes of me now? Blackwall intended you join the Wardens. I will let them decide your fate. But only when Corypheus is dead. For now, Tom Rainier, the Inquisition needs you. As you command. Blackwall gave you the chance to atone through action, not merely punishment. I find I can do no less. I am grateful for this, Inquisitor. And I will serve for as long as I can. <laughs>